Alright everybody, got a new toy in the mail, the CRKT Kidashi, that's what I'm going to call it, Kidashi. It says it's a full tang, skeletonized high carbon stainless steel blade, razor sharp edge with deep blast finish, injected molding scales weighs 0 0.8 ounces a unique single sided sheath plate design okay and it also says it has a bottle opener of course it doesn't show you where the bottle opener is alright let's check out this sheath what they call a sheath Essentially, it's a piece of metal that makes it impossible for you to touch the sharp part of the blade. And what you do is you hold it in your hand like this and push down with your thumb and that releases it and then you pull it off and it exposes a pretty unique shaped blade. Now, as you can see, this is a very tiny knife. It's supposed to be, you know, neck knife, keychain knife. We'll, we'll see about the keychain knife because that's where the keychain is at. And I'm not so sure about that hanging from your key. Just with this holding it. But we'll see. You put the sheath back like that. Grab a hold and give it a little pull. And it puts it back into position. So, Push. Remove. I'm sure I'll get better at that. Now the box says it's razor sharp when it comes out of the box. And I have to agree, I actually shaved a little bit with it. So let's show you up close on my arm. Even though that's not nearly as tough as shaving your face. But it comes from the factory really sharp. Now I'm going to have a bald spot. I bought this off of eBay. It was $15.95 free shipping. And I mean, you can see how small it is. If you wanted it to, you could, you could put that inside of a small survival kit as a backup knife. Um, I don't have my wallet. I was going to say that that would fit inside your wallet if you didn't want to carry it on a keychain. And of course they say that it for carrying on a keychain. What else are we going to do? We've got to cut stuff with it. Yes, we've got to cut stuff with it. So... here in the shed to cut. This is a piece of walnut that I've been working with. Um, the heck am I building out of it? Oh, I made an axe handle with half of it. So it's, it's bone dry. It's been, you know, kiln dried. Um, so it's pretty hard. Pretty hard wood. Though actually it's very hard wood. Let's see here. How's it do? I it just you can carve all day long with that. It's actually a pretty nice blade. So See how it does cut in cords. Here we go. We use some baling twine. That's actually fairly difficult to cut. So 
cuts right through it. It's really nice for cutting. That curved blade is actually wonderful for cutting. knife to cut it. So there's baling twine. What else I got around here we can cut? Cardboard. I'm gonna grab one of these zip ties. Zip tie it onto this hammer. Zip ties are a pain in the butt to cut. Everybody knows that. I mean, that's a hard plastic. Let's see how it does. There we go. Cut through that real easy. Now let's cut it off of this hammer. chance to use it in the real world. And we'll see about this sheath, supposed sheath. It's more like a guard, a blade guard. Some people say it's also a neck knife, but I could see that really hurting you. I don't think I'd wear it as a neck knife. Oh yes, we forgot to mention the small notch at the base of the finger choil. With the sheath plate locked in place, very important, this notch can be used as a bottle opener. At the base of the finger choil? Oh, they're saying that you can crack a bottle open like that. I don't think so, dude. I don't see that. Of course, hell, I don't have any bottles, so we can't test it. They have a limited to lifetime warranty. This warranty covers any defects in material or workmanship. If one of our knives ever breaks or fails because of material or manufacturing defects, we will replace the knife. If your CRKT knife is modified in any way, this warranty does not cover breakage or failure due to misuse of this knife. How are you going to misuse this knife? Gonna put on it? I don't. I don't think so. I just don't see that. All right. I'm sure this video is crap, so we'll do it again later. I don't really feel like talking about this knife anymore. For those of you that think that everything should fit inside of an Altoids tin. 
Personally, I want a little more than that to survive. <sighs> Sorry, folks. Yeah. Let's sit to me. Let's see how it goes in the pocket. Cut my leg open or something. 